Hi, I'm Conrad Khan. I'm here today with Harper's Bazaar UK, and here's what you don't know about me. <laughs> My guilty pleasure is watching Antiques Roadshow by myself in a very dark room. I also feel quite guilty about my McDonald's order, very specific, the chicken legend meal with no sauce. And then I get an additional sauce, a side order of chili, sweet chili and put it in myself, which I do feel very guilty afterwards, but the pleasure is far greater than the guilt. <laughs> um, my party trick is, this is. There you go, you seen that one before? Um, my superpower would be the ability to remember everything that I read. I'd also quite like the ability to forget a few things as well. I think the auditions in themselves are like really strange and surreal, sitting in a room full of 10 boys who look exactly the same as me. Like 10 blonde white boys is quite surreal in itself. But I think my strangest audition experience was when I had to dance by myself to camera it felt like an hour, but probably a minute to um, cameos word up. I think someone somewhere has that footage. Uh, yeah, I hope it never surfaces. The job that changed my life was a film that I worked on a few years ago called County Lines. Um, it's changed my life in a lot of ways. It's probably one of the main reasons why I'm here today. The, the response that, 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 that the film has got has been better than anything I, I'd, I'd ever imagined. It was such a such an important learning experience for me, really taken me places and, and given me opportunities I, I would have never have dreamt of. If I wasn't an actor, my dream career would be to own my own stationery shop. My dream role would probably be Batman or Bond. But in, in all seriousness, I, I really enjoy being given the chance to collaborate on the creation of a character. And I was very lucky to have experienced that uh, on County Lines. I was on board with the project probably two years before we started shooting. And during, during that time, the, the writer, director and I sat down and developed the character together. And I think that's, that's every actor's dream to be able to collaborate on a, on a character. The best piece of career advice that I'd ever been given is just to control what you have the power to control. Don't, not to worry about who's directing the potential project or producing it or what, what stars are in it, just to work with the material that you have and control everything that's in your power to control and just do your best and just forget about it the moment that you've done the audition or the tape or that you've done the meeting. I have never really felt starstruck by anyone in my life. I've acted for a few years and I've met a few famous people, so-called famous people, and I've come to find that they're just as as normal and as insane as, as everybody else. But I have to admit that if Al Pacino was in this room, then I might freak out a little bit, feel a bit differently. A lot of things make me angry. Reading the newspaper uh, makes me really angry, but it, the important thing is what you choose to do with that anger. I feel angry all the time and, and I feel sad from time to time, but the important thing is is learning or finding ways to channel those emotions. And, and you, you need to learn what that is to, to who you are. I mean, it can be painting or boxing or playing golf. It can be anything. But for me, I found acting is a really difficult but brilliant way to channel some of those emotions. What makes me happiest is being sat at home in the living room with a cup of tea and a biscuit all the lights off and the television on and just being around people I love. Have I been in love? No. But well, there's, there's a spectrum of love, isn't there? Platonic love, if you, if you love your family, your friends, but that, that romantic love, no. Not yet, anyway. My first crush was probably my year seven religious education teacher. I hope she's not watching. Some advice that I would give my younger self, I am still quite young, but to be more kind to myself. I feel really privileged and honoured to be nominated for the EE Rising Star. To be nominated for a BAFTA is like a lifetime achievement and to, for it to come at such a young age. First, it's, it's really humbling, but at the same time, it's like, it gives me energy. Like, it's the reason I get up every day. And just to be talked about amongst some of the past nominees is just, I mean, just looking at that list is 
it, it amazes me every time. I'm still coming to terms with it, still pinching myself every day. Um, but yeah, amazing. <laughs>